derivation for developing land. Okay. So first of all, first of all, tensile forcing bar. Okay. Tensile forcing bar. Tensile force in bar is equal to E is equal to is equal to this one pi by four pi by four so diameter of bar it is assumed it is pi pi by four pi square cross sectional area of this bar into stress that is fs is fs then bond force bond force the bond between the steel and concrete okay so this bar is, is inserted into the concrete so this bar it is inserted in the concrete so how much development length we so we need to calculate this development length for getting this tensile force for keep it is in equilibrium position okay so bond force it will be tau bd which is bond stress tau bd tau bd into this bar it is inserted to this concrete okay so how much this will be area it is be contacted to the surface this is perimeter of this circular bar okay so that is pi into pi into ld pi into ld that is length of this bar inserted into the concrete okay okay so this one it is bond force so next equating bond force to the tensile force equating bond force to the tensile force force to tensile force equating bond force to the tensile force force okay. tensile force see here you will write tensile force is equal to tensile force is equal to bond force tensile force is equal to sorry bond force is equal to tensile force bond force is equal to tensile force tensile force Force. So bond force it is tau BD tau BD tau BD into tau BD pi into pi into LD pi into LD. Sorry, this one it is pi into pi into diameter of bar it is pi into LD. Developing length it is LD is equal to is equal to tensile force it is pi by 4. Pi by four into pi square into pi square into fs into fs into fs ten such space fs so fs is equal to where 
here f s is equal to 0.87 f y 0.87 into f y f s is equal to 0.87 f y then so this pi will to be get this pi to be get cancelled this pi and this pi to be get cancelled this pi and this one pi square it will be get cancelled we will get the tau b d is equal to tau b d is equal to bond stress is equal to into l d l d is equal to i by 4 into f i by 4 i by 4 into 0.87 f1 into 0 0.87 0 0.87 into f1 f1 so LD is equal to LD is equal to of this LD is equal to LD is equal to 0 0.87 0 0.87 0 0.87 into FY into pi pi divided by Four tau bd divided by four tau bd four into tau bd four in tau bd. Okay. Okay. Still, this equation it is applicable for mild steel. This. Formula is applicable for mild steel. For mild steel, okay. This formula it is applicable for mild steel. Okay. Mild steel in tension. In tension. This formula it is applicable for mild steel in tension. Now, for HYSD, for HYSD, for HYSD, for HYSD, for HYSD, for HYSD in tension, for HYSD in tension, for HYSD in tension, one stress is bond stress is increased by 6% bond stress bond stress is increased by 6% increased is increased by 6% sorry 60% increased by 60% that is means ld is equal to ld is equal to ld is equal to Point eight seven into F Y into Pi 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 divided by Pi divided by divided by one point six one point six into four into tau bd or into tau bd or into tau bd bracket plus or into tau bd or into tau bd is equal to final equation of we get 0 0.87 0 0.87 into fy into phi into pi into pi divided by divided by 
1.6 into 4. 1.6 into 4, that will be 0.4. 6.4 into tau b. When HYSD in tension, bond stress is increased by 16 per. Okay. Means when the torque still it is available, then bond stress it is increased by 60 per. Then this formula will become 0.87 FY pi divided by 6.4 tau bd. Okay. When HYSD in compression, then HYSD in compression, HYSD in compression. So the compression bond stress bond bond stress increase the additionally additional twenty five percent additional twenty five percent additional twenty five percent. So now L D is equal to for that L D is equal to point eight seven point eight seven into pi into sorry F Y into pi divided by divided by divided by divided by 1.6 into 1.25 in bracket 4 into tau bd 4 into tau bd 4 into tau bd 4 into tau bd bracket so bracket So, so final value to get is equal to 0.87 into Fy into pi pi divided by divided by divided by 1.6 into 1.25 into 4. It will be 8 into tau bd. 8 into tau bd. Tau bd. 8 into tau bd. Okay. So when it is for HYSD tension, bond stress increased by 60%. So it will be 8.87 for 5 divided by 6.4 tau bd. Then HYSD in compression, bond stress is an increased additional 25%. It is increased 60% as well as 25%. So 0.87 FY5 divided by 1.6 into 1.25, 4 into tau BD. That will be get 0.87 FY5 divided by 8 tau BD. Okay. These are the three formulae. One it is for mild steel in tension. It will be 0.87 FY5 divided by 4 tau BD only there. Okay. When it is HYSD in tension, bond stress is increased by 60% only. It will be 0.87 FY5 divided by 1.6 into 4 tau BD. It will be get 0.87 FY5 divided by 6.4 into tau BD. Okay. So HYSD in compression, this one. Okay. So these three formula is useful for calculating the developing length. When for mild steel in tension, for torque steel in, that is HYSD in tension for HYSD in compression.